Welcome back to the Joe Miller Show. Kaylee on Hot Talk, 1080 AM, 95.1 FM. This show is made possible by the McPherson Tax Defense Group. 1-800-BEAT-IRS, beatirs.com. That's B-E-A-T, IRS, serving Alaskans, Americans since 1978 with two generations of tax defense attorneys. We have with us Rachel Alexander, senior editor at thestream.org. She's a political columnist, founder and editor of Intellectual Conservative, regular contributor to this show, also a former prosecutor. We're going to talk a little bit about what happened down in Texas several days ago. If you might have heard, we put this up at restoringliberty.com, a couple of articles about it. There's a grand jury that convened on the question as to whether or not a Planned Parenthood outfit in Texas had violated the law. And instead of indicting the Planned Parenthood leaders and uh, agency, instead what happened, the district attorney convinced the grand jury to indict the witnesses against Planned Parenthood, which is pretty extraordinary, especially when you consider the fact that it's been said that any district attorney could indict even a dog if it wanted to. So it's easy to indict, to actually turn the perspective and the target of a grand jury to the witnesses that are providing evidence for the indictment. It means something's up. And here's Rachel Alexander to tell us what happened. What's the real deal here, Rachel? Yeah, and as you know from having me on your show before, I like to write about legal corruption where the left targets uh, people on the right through the legal system. And what really is going on here is that uh, this DA has some agenda, obviously, and she says things, and this is what really annoys me about this. She says things like, well, I have to uh, follow the law. And the law says that we have to charge them with, uh, you know, the felonies uh, that will give them up to 20 years in prison because they tampered with a government document uh, and they're from another state. Okay, well, that's fine. And, And she's not even looking at, like, anything that Planned Parenthood is doing. She's looking at the fact that this pair just happened to make fake driver's licenses. Well, give us a little bit of background on this pair that ended up getting indicted. What did what did they do, and how does that relate? I mean, there have been a whole bunch of these sting videos that came out about Planned Parenthood all over the country. And I know a number of different people made these videos, but the pair that have been indicted in Texas, what exactly did they do? I mean, they uh, did some investigative journalism. I mean, all they did was they went in uh, to Planned Parenthood undercover and uh, videotaped Planned Parenthood employees saying things and, uh, you know, basically admitting uh, that felonies were going on where they were doing live births of abortions and, and you know, illegally violating all these different laws about uh, how you do an abortion in order to preserve the fetus to, to sell it later, which is illegal. And so they, they caught them in all this stuff. And in this, this Texas location, Planned Parenthood decided to uh, ask for charges against them. And uh, so they're, you know, the DA like, figured out, hmm, well, what can we put them in prison for? Hmm, they have fake driver's license. And so she found the most draconian statute possible to charge them with, okay? Illegal immigrants, as we all know, half the time they get caught with a fake driver's license. They get deported. They don't even, they don't even get prosecuted. It's such a low-level misdemeanor. So for this woman to not even just use a regular, you know, misdemeanor statute against them for uh, having an illegal driver's license, it's ridiculous. She's found the worst statute possible. It doesn't fit the crime. These people were not trying to steal money. They weren't trying to... Uh, hit anyone. They weren't violent. I mean, they basically just used these uh, driver's license uh, to do some investigative journalism. I was confused about this. I had thought the district attorney in Texas had actually started or was charged with looking at whether or not the Planned Parenthood folk had committed crimes and then changed its target of the indictment to those that provided evidence. But what you're saying is this started from the very beginning with an investigation of those that had taken the video of the Planned Parenthood group. Yeah, I think it did. I know they said the grand jury had been investigating these two for the last three months. Okay. And then there is conflict. There is conflicting information out there about uh, the DA uh, investigating Planned Parenthood. Uh, she announced last summer that she was looking into it, but uh, there's no evidence that the grand jury ever uh, came to vote on whether to indict Planned Parenthood or not. You know, my guess okay. is she didn't even bother. So, so it's unclear as to whether or not this same grand jury that indicted those that took the video had ever looked at evidence of wrongdoing by Planned Parenthood. Right. 
they just threw it under the rug. And I mean, fortunately, you know, the Texas governor has got a couple uh, state agencies investigating Planned Parenthood. But yeah, this this prosecutor thinks they didn't do anything wrong. The video itself, and you have this up on the article we'll put up on RestoringLiberty.com later today, but apparently one of the people that was videoed in this Planned Parenthood agency by one of the two that was indicted made the comment or was asked about why do all these other Planned Parenthood groups across state think that this is illegal but you don't. I mean, that's a paraphrase. And, I I mean, there were things like that that suggested that there was at least reasonable notice that what that agency was doing, what that Planned Parenthood group was doing, was unlawful. So we just sweep all that under the rug, and we gin up these supposed illegal acts and go after the people that are actually shedding light on really evil stuff. Where is this district attorney located? Is she from a liberal or a conservative area? Um, It's pretty liberal. It's Houston. It's Harris County. You know, it's not as bad as the uh, DA in uh, what's that other county that – uh, is going after Perry and went after Tom DeLay. Um, yeah, I mean, that was the but, first thought in my mind. I mean, here we go again with these politicized indictments in Texas. And that's in part a result of the laws that are on the books there that allow that degree of discretion. I mean, DeLay actually got hammered. I mean, he had to step down. Perry is still facing those charges, right? Oh, yeah. I just read the other day that he has spent, is it like $1.5 million or $2.5 million on a defense so far? Yeah, and there's no That's doubt crazy. that he, there's no doubt that that had an impact on, I mean, of course, he wasn't catching fire for his presidential run anyway, but probably in part it was a consequence of this indictment, the felony indictment over him, which is just mind boggling. And for listeners out there that have forgotten what happened there, effectively what Governor Perry did was he cut back on a budget of a district attorney in Texas who had been charged, I guess she actually ended up getting convicted of a DUI, and uh, and then she retaliated by saying, hey, you're trying to interfere with justice. And again, this is you know, not as specific as I could be if I'd reviewed all the documents, but effectively said, you're interfering. This is under this particular law, a felony in Texas, went after an indictment, got an indictment, and now facing all of the, the criminal procedures that relate to those felony charges. And, and I mean, of course, amongst conservatives, it's very clear that that's exceptionally political. And, of course, that's the same sort of thing that most of us thought when we saw this indictment returned against the folk that had taken the video of the Planned Parenthood group down in Texas. It just seems like such an incredible reversal. I mean, where you've got the whistleblowers out there that are actually shedding light on just pathetically evil actions occurring within these agencies to then have to go out and defend themselves of these serious charges. Now, I mean, because one's a misdemeanor, I guess, another is a felony. Do these folks have anybody defending them? Is there a, like a legal defense fund or a group that's helping them, or do you know? Yeah, um, there is some uh, groups out there. Um, I also got a, a email from 40 Days for Life. Uh, we're having a conference call tonight at like uh, 6 p.m. Uh, to discuss, you know, strategy or whatever. So I, I do think they're going to get a lot of help. It's just – it's it's brutal. And, you know, the misdemeanor charge against him, I mean, the misdemeanor charge is uh, for the exact same thing he was trying to catch Planned Parenthood doing. I mean, the irony is, like, incredible. And, and you know, they're trying to charge him with, uh, you know, uh, buying or selling human organs. And if you think about how ridiculous it is, one, he doesn't have intent to buy or sell. Two, Planned Parenthood had the intent to sell. Uh, you know, three, what about all these other organizations like STEM Express that actually were buying and selling? I mean, it, it, it's crazy. And if you look up the background of this DA, uh, she is very biased. She claims she's pro-life, but um, the attorney for the most notorious abortion doctor there in uh, Texas, uh, who is doing live birth abortions and employees ratted him out, uh, that attorney donated uh, 15000 to her campaign. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible what's happening here. It's clear that it's designed to chill. I mean, it's designed to ensure that nobody else goes after Planned Parenthood in Texas. They don't have to succeed in conviction. All they do is they have to frighten these folk. They have to cause them to incur legal expenses. And I can assure you, facing a misdemeanor and a felony, these folks are concerned. You'd have to be, especially given what Perry's done. I mean, what, he's spent, like you said, over a million bucks already. So anyway, we got to help these folks out. Rachel, if you could get us a link, we'll put that up with the article as to where we can provide funding to help these folks in their defense. Stay with us. The Joe Miller Show. We'll have more after this. 